Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can highlight any specific object from your video in VSTC Pro version. So it's actually super easy to highlight any specific object from your video in VSTC Pro. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So this is my demo video present right here. And let me just quickly play this video for you. So the general plan is to dim the background of this video for a really short duration somewhere in the middle. And during that particular time, I will highlight this particular car which is moving at around the center of the video. And so to do this, first double click on your video and we will use the custom transparency effect to dim the background. So go to video effects, go to transparency, select custom transparency and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this custom transparency effect is the entire duration of my demo video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration to just one second. So inside the duration option write 01.000 and then press enter. I would also like to place this custom transparency effect at 3 seconds in the timeline. Currently it is placed at 0 seconds. So to place it at 3 seconds, look inside the time option and write 03.000 and then press enter. Now we will create two duplicates from this custom transparency effect. So click on this effect, press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V two times to create two duplicates. As you can see in the timeline, two additional duplicates have been successfully created. Now place the second custom transparency effect after the first custom transparency effect like this. And we are going to increase its duration from one second to four second. So inside duration, write 04.000 and then press enter and place this third custom transparency effect after the second custom transparency effect like this. Perfect. Now what we will do next is we will look inside the transparency settings of the first custom transparency effect and inside the transparency settings you will see this transparency option where currently the value is 100%. So first change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill 100 semicolon 100 and now change the values from 100 semicolon 100 to 100 semicolon 50 and then press enter. Perfect. Now click on the second custom transparency effect and look inside the transparency settings once again. Inside the transparency option, currently the value is 100%. So delete this and write 50 and then press enter. And finally, click on the third custom transparency effect and look inside the transparency settings. Inside the transparency option, currently the value is 100%. So first change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill. 100 semicolon 100 and now change the values from 100 semicolon 100 to 50 semicolon 100 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So as you can see in the middle of the video, the background gets dimmed for four seconds before it kind of regains its light. Perfect. So right at this particular position, the background gets dimmed. And what we will do is we will highlight the car at exactly this particular time when the background gets dimmed. So double click on the second custom transparency effect, which is in the middle. And now we will add a rectangle object. So go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object right at the center like this. 
so that it covers the entire car properly perfect perfect and what we will do is let me just quickly play the video and see how things are looking all right okay one final thing which is left to be done is we will copy this rectangle object so click on this rectangle object press ctrl c to copy it go back double click on the first custom transparency effect and right here press ctrl v and as you can see i've created a second rectangle object inside the first custom transparency effect and let me just decrease the duration of this rectangle object to 1 second because the duration of my custom transparency effect is 1 second and let's go back and now double click on the third custom transparency effect press control v once again and i've created a third rectangle object inside the third custom transparency effect and once again let me just decrease the duration of this rectangle object to 1 second perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so right when the background gets dimmed you will see this rectangle appearing highlighting the object and then the background regains its light perfect so this is how you can highlight any specific object from your video in vstc video editor this is also the first tutorial which i have made in the pro version do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching